All right, what is going on, everybody? Today we are here with the Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Hunter Ranked Doubles video. And today, I first of all, first things first, I don't have Swampert. I have no Swampert because, like, whenever I don't have Swampert, everyone always comments about it. But I don't have it today because I want to show off Mammo Swine, and Swampert is kind of just like better Mammo Swine. Uh, it's actually probably worse, but it's better for me. Um, but I, I don't want Mammo sh Mammo Shine, Mammo Shine, Mammo Swine to be outshined by Swampert. So. We're gonna go without Swampert today. But uh, this team does actually have two of my other favorites to use, which is uh, Kanto Moltres and Zarina. I love those mods so much, right? So hopefully we can uh, do work with this team today. I'm still a little bit lost in Series 9's like best ca like best things to have on a team at all times or whatever, but hopefully we can do work with this. Anyway, this is the team, and I will be back when we do the first battle. Okay, this team looks like it kind of wants a Colossal on, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I feel like it wants a, a Colossal in place of like the, uh, maybe the Ndidi or something like that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, their team is full of threats, and I hate threats. But, you know what's oddly very, very- Oh, Mammo Swine crushes them, oh my god. If I leave Mammo Urshifu and just punch the, uh, punch the Ndidi, we're just set. We're just good to go, like, honestly. <laughs> honestly, we are. Uh, the biggest issue for that would probably be, like, maybe Tornadus, uh, Tornadus Moltres, maybe, or maybe Moltres Eleki. Uh, Moltres killing Urshifu would be the worst case scenario there, but I think I'm gonna go with that anyway. I'm gonna bring, uh, who else do I want in the back? I kind of want Tapu Fini. I think he's very, very good here. Very good for the Incin, very, very good for the, uh, Dragapult. Um, and I don't have the... Best answers to Tornadus beyond the Mammo Swine, huh? <laughs> I guess I have Moltres' Ancient Power, which is not terrible. Uh, Mammo is gonna have to hard carry versus the Eloki if it don't bring Zarina. Uh, is Zarina worth bringing here? It loses to the top half of their team, like instantly. I could just bring Clefairy. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Clefairy for a late game support option because I do think my first three that I brought can actually handle their entire team. On their own, like damage-wise. I hope so. Anyway, I hope so. By the way, um, I did post a, a new Pokemon Snap video yesterday. So if you are interested in that game whatsoever, please check it out because uh, whenever I do content that's not VGC, it obviously is going to get less like you know views, less support, all that, right? But any support is very mega super appreciated. So if you could do that, if you could, like go over there, like the video, watch the video, or whatever, that would be super appreciated. Anyways, uh, Indeedee Instant is a very weird really weird really odd i'm actually can i actually don't know why they let off with that that's actually a really not good lead for them at all um because you can't intimidate uh basically either mon because i can just punch the indeed because i know they're not sash now because they were seed and i can just i could high horsepower or max quake the ensign um but because mammo is so important for the rest of the game I think I'm going to max Quake just to manage to stay alive, hopefully. And I could punch the Ensign, but there's they're definitely just going to redirect the Ndidi, right? So I'm going to go ahead and Wicked Blow. Which should Oko the Ndidi, unless they're like super, like, uh, whatchamacallit, Barry? No, 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 no. They were a Psychic Seed, so they don't have a Barry. We're good to go. We're good. <laughs> we're good. We should Oko the Ndidi. I'm not sure if max defense lives. Actually, no, I'm Choice Bandit. There's no way. Not a chance, bro. Not in a million years, bro. No way. <laughs> All right. Okay. See, I feel like Mammo's a weird mod to use, right? Because I feel like it's going to be kind of common. Most sort of kind. It was pretty common at the beginning of Crown Thundra, right? Um, they did not follow me, meaning they expanding for... It doesn't matter. They probably, like, Mystical Fired, bro. <laughs> but they're gone. I'm sorry, Indeed, I'm sorry. Uh, but, like, I, I feel like Mammo's going to be kind of popular. But I also really like the Pokemon. And I also really think it's, uh, really good in the meta. But I think Swamper is, uh, better still. Because I'm biased, but... Uh, I think Mammo does have a good place in the meta right now. As you can see, I just turned one Oko and two Mons, so, you know, Mammo's doing the job right now, because I should win the battle from here, right? Because, like, they don't really have the... <laughs> hey! That's a great first battle! Let's go! First battle, Rage <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, I'll be back when I get into the, uh, the next battle. Okay, this is a Sun Room team, like, almost super standard, okay? Uh, I kind of think Zarina lead is just really good overall. Uh, ugh, but the Amoongus could be annoying. Um, not if I protect Mammo. I can protect Mammo. So I think I might lead a Mammo, Zarina. 
Hmm. Or, no, hmm. Or Clefairy Zarina. No, I think I'm gonna lead Zarina. Uh, Urshifu? I think they would lead Sun, maybe, versus me, because I have the Mammo. Um, maybe Zarina Moltres, but then I would lose the Glacier Air. God, I'm stressing, okay. Uh, um, I just, I, I don't see Mammo being a good lead. I think it's a really good Mon here. I don't think it's a good lead here, though. Or maybe it is. I would just lose the Glacier Air otherwise, if I let off with that, though. Um, it all depends what they lead off with, though. Ah, uh, shoot, bro. Shoot. I have no idea. I definitely think Moltres, uh, Zarina, Urshifu, and Mammo are the mods to bring here, though. I don't see Feeny being very good. Um, I'm gonna bring Moltres lead. Just be double immune to Spore. Um, and I'm gonna go with these two in the back. Okay, cool. That should work. Um, I'm not, like, actually, yeah, no, no, regardless here, because the thing about Sunroom and their particular team with the Amoongus is that they rely pretty heavily on powder moves, and my two lead mods are both immune to that, so that should be a good thing right now. God, that rage quit was so funny, bro. That rage quit was so good. Turn one, double Oko rage quit. Oh my god. P2 Torkoal. P2 Torkoal. That actually works out pretty well for me. Um, I don't mind that whatsoever. Uh, I don't know what they would do here, though. Okay, so my taunt is not priorities. That's fine. That's actually, like, that would that would have been horrifying if I had, like, Prankster or whatever. Uh, that could have been terrible. Um, I'm gonna taunt the Porygon, and I'm gonna go for the Max Rockfall into the Torkoal. I could just Ancient Power Raw, but I don't... Actually, Zarina's not very good here beyond the initial taunting. So, yeah, I'm gonna Ancient Power. Because the, the Torkoal can't kill... Uh, uh, Moltres. So, I would love an Omni Boost. If you Omni Boost me game, I'm about to go crazy with the Dynamax. Okay, I did not get the Omni Boost, but I did taunt the, uh, the P2. And, ideally, they Eruption Trick Room here. That's the Eruption Trick Room. Okay, cool. I should live that because of the, uh, the half HP. And I do. And they try and Trick Room as well, but they are taunted, and life is now good gamers. Okay. Uh, so now, I can Power Whip the Porygon, uh, which is probably going to swap out into Venusaur. Actually, I'm going to Triple Axel it. I'm going to do that, and... or they, No, they're going to go Glacier Air, so I'm going to Heat Wave. And no matter what you went into, bro... Actually, even if it was Venusaur. Amoongus. Oh, that's dead, bro. <laughs> that's big dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize, bro. Uh... They protected Torkoal, okay. Um, well, they can't really powder my mons right, right now, so... Don't miss the Amoongus, please! Don't miss the Amoongus! And don't be Akaberry. We did not miss, okay! The- Oh, bring him down to Sash, too? Alright, I need this Triple Axe to land right now. Yo, my team might be crazy right now. My team might be, like, super good for Series, uh, Series 9 right now. I might have a God-tier team. Oh, buddy. I'm about to destroy Sunroom like it was nothing. Because, like, what are they going to do now? Go back into P2 and do nothing? Like, they're not going to get anywhere. P2, yeah, like, I, I still have taunt, bro. I, I can still taunt you. What are you going to do? Like, what's your goal? Um, so because they try to go for the Trick Room turn 1, they definitely have Glacier in the back and not... Not, um... Venusaur. Which implies I could pretty safely just Ancient Power the Torkoal here, I think. I don't know if that, what I just said, fit into the sentence I was previously saying, but I forgot what I was saying, if I'm being honest, so. Um, I'm gonna go for the Omni Boost, because I think it'd be, like, super funny. <laughs> My entire goal right now is the Omni Boost, honestly. Give me the Omni Boost, plus one in every single stat, please. Oh, that would be hilarious. I would win the game instantly. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, okay. I had Scorching Sands on this Moltres beforehand, but then I thought that it'd be, like, a really good Sun Counter. Um, and fun fact, it very much so is. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay. Oh, they- oh, now, now they're taunted for good, too, because I'm omni-boosted. It's over, bro. Your, your, your game is over. You just got 4 would I'm sorry. Uh, maybe not 4 would You might be able to heal, like, uh, Zarina. Uh, I know it's a Mammo Swine video, and I apologize, but honestly, it might end up as a Canto Moltres video. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, or maybe I'll, like, put both in the thumbnail and be like, I made the best Series 9 team and just go crazy. Oh, this team is so lit. I'm actually like, hyped for my team right now. And that does not happen very often. So, because I have Urshifu in the back, I'm actually not worried at all right now. 
Um, I don't really think I need to kill P2. I don't think there's any like priority to do so. So I'm gonna double the Glacier. And if they protect it, guess what? I don't care. I have a Moltres plus one in the sun right now. I am the fastest, the bulkiest, the strongest Moltres out there. Because I got an Ancient Power Omni boost. <laughs> that was so worth it. I could have got for Heat Wave, right? And like, the Torkoal wouldn't have done very much. And I could have like, I could have like gotten a different Mon in after Zarina died or whatever. And I, I could have done differently there, right? But this is way funnier. This is way funnier. Oh, let's go. They did Dynamax the Glacier, so they are probably uh, they're either Max Guarding, which wouldn't really bother me at all, or they're just going to lose. <laughs> I don't think they live a plus one in the sun uh, Max Flare uh, from, a, from a Moltres, I don't think so. Base like 125 special attack, I don't think so, bro. Did you Max Guard? You did not. I'm sorry, but you have to be AV. If you're not AV, you lose. Alright, so I think they're AV. There's no way they would live otherwise, right? Uh, okay. And they almost died there. Try attack. That's not gonna kill, though. Don't parry me! Let's go. Hailstorm. Uh, you had to kill Moltres, but you chose not to. Okay. Um, in my opinion, they should have done the opposite there, and they should have Hailstormed. Like, why would they use their, their Dynamax move on the... No way. Like, like, why would they do that? Like, 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 they did that purely because it said super effective on their screen. There's no other reasoning for it. That is crazy. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I will bring out my Urshifu and I will claim a victory. Appreciate the win, bro. Appreciate the W. Yeah, you, you can't kill me, buddy. I'm sorry. I should have brought out Mammo Swine, so I had a reason to put it in the thumbnail. I'm gonna put both in the thumbnail, I think. I'm, I, I haven't made it yet, but I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. It's really hard to thumbnail two mons, though, but like, I can try. Uh, anyways, 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 close combat the P2, and the Glacier can just take this this crazy airstream or whatever. I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care. Doesn't, I should have gone for the flare, actually, to avoid my sash breaking on Urshifu. Although, I really don't think it matters. I respect them even trying to stay, to be honest. Like, I would have I dipped out of here, to be honest. <laughs> I would have been gone instantly. Like, your odds of winning are uh, slim to zero, bro. Slim to none. I'm proud of this battle right now. Oh, I'm proud of this team right now. I haven't actually used Feeny yet. I get that, right? But I think Feeny's cool too, probably. I just o code that guy. That's crazy. Get body, Porygon too. Ooh, it's the first guy rage quit after a double Oko, right? And this dude got 4 0'd. No, no, 3 0'd. Sorry, because Arena got max hailstormed. Uh, but hopefully we can carry this, uh, this hype into the next battle, but I will be back in that next battle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on, but their team kind of gets, like, 4 by Mammoth Swine, right? Um, not exactly, but, like, almost. Uh, actually, if I lead Zarina Mammo, no, if I lead Urshifu Mammo, uh, there's really not much they can do to stop me. Oh, Cinder's totally Oko me, though. Oh, and my Urshifu isn't Sash. I think I said it was Sash last time. I'm stupid. It's my Mammal with Sash. Duh. Uh, okay. So, my choices here are Clefairy Mammo, Urshifu Mammo, or Zarina Mammo. They don't have any priority, barring Sucker Punch. I'm not that worried about that. Uh, I'm not really worried about Zarina at all. Must be on the fact that Oko is half their team. Actually, it's super effective on most of their team. Um, Zarina could actually be a really good lead here. Alright, I think I'm going to go Clefairy Mammo. Um, it's really good for anything that's not in DD Gelids. I made a... I was lying to you guys. I was lying to you. <laughs> I was lying. Oh, I can't stop that. <laughs> I can't stop that. Oh, no. I can't stop that Trick Room. Oh, I can't actually. Hold on. Hold on. The Yield Urshifu Zarina lead. There we go. Mammo in the back and Moltres Feeny or... I don't see those being good very at all, so I'm gonna go with Clefairy instead. I, I, I see Feeny being good for, like, maybe the Cinderace if they don't have Gunshot or Iron Head, and it's really good for the Crocodile as well. But I do think what I brought is better with Clefairy. Uh, I, I genuinely- Aw, oh, the dude was on- Aw, oh, at least jumping off the Waylord this time, bro. Speaking of Waylord, yesterday's video was kinda crazy with the Waylord, haha! <laughs> Plug the video so you guys go watch it after this one if you missed it. Dab emoji. Alright. Cinderace Feeny lead, so they did not lead off with Trick Room, so my entire lead was wasted. I understand, I understand. Okay, cool. I get you, bro. I understand entirely. 
<laughs> I'm a failure. Um, okay, so that is pr that is actually worst case scenario, but we're gonna go for the Feeny kill, because if I can kill Feeny, then I kill Feeny, and then Mammoth one has a better time, but I need Cinderace it as well. Oh, okay. Um, what are the odds they'll airstream me? I'm a double Feeny right now. I think it's like a, a good thing to do just to kill it right now. Get off the field. Because they're just going to turn my max injuries, right? Like, I, I had a bad lead. Like, I in my mind, I was so sad on the fact that we're going to lead in DD Jealous and go for the Trick Room that I didn't expect Cinderace Feeny, which unfortunately is the worst lead for me because Feeny bodies uh, Urshifu and Cinderace bodies uh, Zarina. So, this is really bad right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, that could have definitely been better. They did Airship, but I am Koba Berry. Please don't hit my Urshifu. Let's go, Koba Berry. Okay, cool. So I should live this, and I should still outspeed the Feeny. Yeah, so I do live it, and Urshifu at least should still outspeed Feeny, and I'm hoping they're Moonblast. That'd be ideal. They're Moonblast instead of Dazzling Gleam. Uh, no, they are max speed Feeny, they are Gleam. Okay. Um, but I did st Oh. For some reason, I thought it was Sash or Shifu again. I, I I keep I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm an idiot. Uh, are they are they are you? Hmm. They're Sash Max B. Nope. They just live on one HP. Never mind. They are leftovers, but they just live on one HP. Um. Okay. So my new goal is to kill that Cinderace. <laughs> uh. Why did I go into Clefairy? I'm so dumb. Okay. I'm gonna protect Clefairy. And let Zarina go down right now. I sh should not have done that. It doesn't matter anyway at this point because they have Gleam, right? Um, maybe if I can kill Feeny with Zarina, that'll work out. I forgot they were faster because they're, they're <laughs> max speed Zarina or, or Feeny. <laughs> like actually, that's crazy. Okay. God dang it! They outsped. Okay. <laughs> Pop off then with your crazy team. They are gonna steal Spike. Mmm. Their, their team is incredibly hard to handle. Specifically, their Cinderace is really bad for me. Like, for my entire team. If I brought Feeny, I'd be better off. But even then, I, I wouldn't be able to touch them in the, in the steel typing. Alright, so they do KO Zarina here, which is expected and fine. It's whatever. God dang, that sucks for me. Their team was so bad for me, dude. Um... What are the odds they would steal Spike Mammo instead? They're probably just going to aim for Clefairy, right? Because they expect to follow me this turn. It's pretty obvious. So I kind of want a helping hand and go for the Quake into Cinderace. And then the Feeny just doubles, double KOs me anyway because they're faster because they're max speed. Um, maybe I Icy Wind. There's no way I would live. Maybe I just double protect. But then I wouldn't KO. Because the Steel Spike boosts are crazy. I wouldn't KO anyway, actually. Uh, I'm just gonna hope they attack the Clefairy like they did that turn and move with the Quake. If they predict me, they're probably just better than me. Like, honestly. God, they had to be max speed Feeny, huh? Got a banded poison jab would have bodied them! They had to be max speed, surely. I'm gonna calc it right now, actually. I'm gonna calc it. Uh, okay, so that was, I was an Urshifu Dark, level 50, at max speed. I was Jolly Nature as well. And they were a Tapu Fini. Don't hit me, I was fine. Thank you. Um, they do KO because Cinderace is broken. Uh, alright, Tapu Fini uh, has to be timid max speed at plus one. They were choice scarfed? They have to be choice scarfed to outspeed by 10 points. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I have Tailwind up. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that I had that. Okay. Uh, then no, they, they had to be... Wait, they have any speed investment? No, they outspeed with zero investment apparently. Modest nature? No, it has to be at least plus speed nature, so they have some speed investment. That blows. 
Did I Oko Cinderace? Suck it, nerd! Plus two to- I had to have gotten a crit, right? I missed it. I, I, I didn't see. Now, unfortunately, I definitely lose here. If I just let like Clefairy Memo, I won the game, by the way. Just want to put that out right now. Um, Clefairy Memo would have won me the entire battle. <laughs> that would have been really nice. Uh, okay. God, I, I guess I overthought the lead, but I really, like, expected Tricker, but I'm not going to lie. Because, like, look at their team, right? Like, look at their team. It's really slow, like, barring Cinderace, but I guess I got Hyper Offense instead. Ah, uh, it's tough. That's tough. Okay. I'm going to Hailstorm to do some chip to the Feeny. And if they don't follow me, then it sucks to be me, right? Yep, sucks to be me. Um, well, actually, they're faster anyway, but I think this is an okay thing I did, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I can't... I can't kill their entire seat. Ooh! But the Feeny can't... Like, the, the Feeny won't... They'll kill me, right? They'll, they'll kill me. Um, okay! Screw my health! I thought I was going to take way less from that. I'm not going to lie. So there's no hopes of me killing the Feeny with Hail. I would need a double max guard and to outspeed Oko, whatever their last one is, which I'm hoping is Cradilly, but they have no reason to bring Cradilly because they had, they had, there's no reason to have that. Please be Cradilly. Okay, gamers, there is always a chance you can win, okay? I double max guard, okay? I double max guard. The Feeny dies to hail somehow through their leftovers, right? Like the hail crits them or whatever. Um, the Cradilly can't miss there. I, I, I can't. Mm. If they weren't leftovers, I'd be fine. If they didn't live on one HP, I'd be fine. Oh, I thought I had another turn on Dynamax. I'm just, I forgot about the Quake. I'm, I forgot about the Quake entirely. Uh, so there's no chance either of them misses their move. Um, and I'm, I could try Ice Sharding the Fiendy, but it's not going to matter. It wouldn't KO anyway from that range. Oh, it's rain anyway. Yeah, I forgot about that. It doesn't matter. It, doesn't, it didn't matter. Um, no matter what I did there, I lost, so. That's tragic, bro. That was, oh, I hate it. My, my like, uh, in, okay, in, in Sword and Shield, right, it's so hard to come back from a bad lead, right? Because of Dynamax. Like, I literally couldn't come back from that lead because of the Dynamax Cinderace, right? There was no coming back from that. If I had Moltres, it might have been better, actually. It might have been. But I didn't bring that because I'm stupid. Anyway, uh, I am going to call the video there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Comments, or like, all that stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later.